The single most useful chart that you can make is a bar chart for showing a quantity by category, either the number of people in a group or an average for that group. And this is really easy to do in Google Sheets. Here I have a table that shows the frequencies for a number of social media followers in each platform. And all I have to do is select one of these cells. I got it up here in the top and I come over to insert chart. And Google Sheets is smart enough to know that I want a bar chart by default. Now you can see here, if I click on suggested, it gives me a few choices, but this is a bar chart, really quick and easy. There's a few things I would want to do to modify this. First, I'm actually going to move it over a little bit so it's not overlapping with my data. Instead of saying count versus social media followers, I'm going to change the title. I just clicked on that and I'm going to put by platform. I'm going to get rid of this legend here because it doesn't tell me anything useful. So I click on that, double click, and then I put none. I'm going to change this word over here from count to followers. And then I don't think I need this here on the bottom. So I'm just going to select that and then delete it. And then finally, I think I'm going to change the color of the bars. So I'm going to double click on the bars, pick a different color. I personally like this red. And so there's an excellent bar chart. Now I will mention one funny thing. Technically this isn't a bar chart. It's a column chart because it's vertical. A bar chart goes sideways. And so let's take a quick look at how we can make it a bar chart. I'm going to copy this chart and then paste it. And then I'll drag this down a little so I can put it underneath. I'll scroll up now. And all I need to do is double click on this chart and then come over and tell it I no longer want a column chart. I want a bar chart. Now I'm going to have to clean things up. It went back to the default title. So I'm going to change that again to by platform. And I'm going to delete this again. And I need to clean this up again. But the reason this is a good chart, the sideways bar chart is because if you have long labels, now the words Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram are not long, but if they were longer, then this makes it easier to read them because you don't have to turn your head sideways or something. And it puts it in the same orientation as the bar itself. So it's easier to follow through with it in a logical manner. Anyhow, this is the simplest chart you can make a bar chart, a column chart, and truthfully, 90% of the time, it's going to give you all the information you need to make the conclusions based on your data.